Good morning and welcome to Tech Coach Corner, a YouTube series presented by Dino. I'm Tiara Lustig, I'm on the marketing team here at Dino, and I will be your host. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment on these videos. Subscribing will make sure you get notified whenever we post new videos. We'll be posting these every Thursday, uh, so you'll want to get notified when a new one drops. Today we have a great conversation with Eric Geis on the technology integration matrix and how you can use it in your school to effectively implement technology. Let's dive in. Welcome everyone. I am joined today by Eric Geis, media specialist and tech coach at Hopewell Valley Central High School. Eric, do you want to give a brief introduction to yourself? Yeah, I would love to. Uh, like you said, I'm a tech coach and, and uh, I'm also going into biology teaching this year, going back to the classroom. So I'm loving that. Uh, I am a husband. I am a father of three boys, Bo, Boone and Briggs, and they're all under the age of five. And we are loving remote learning. It's a lot, I'm sure, to handle during this time with conducting remote learning and being a parent of three. Yeah, it's a challenge, but you know, the best thing about teachers is we're, we're all very adaptive and uh, you know, it's working out. Definitely. So Eric, I know we've worked with you in the past with the Tackling Tech podcast, as well as our remote learning summit back in April. Um, one thing that you mentioned during our Tackling Tech podcast episode was the tech integration matrix and how you supplement SAM, SAMR with the tech integration matrix. Can you talk a little bit about why the tech integration matrix is so important, how you use it and what it is from a very basic level? Sure. Uh, first of all, it came from the Florida Center for uh, Instructional Technology. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to find, I like SAMR. It's very simple and that's the beauty of it. Uh, SAMR stands for Substitution, um, Augmentation, Modification, and Redefinition. And the beauty behind that is, is it's very simple. Teachers understand it and it's just a way to look at how you're using technology into the classroom but it left me wanting more. Uh, I want to know, uh, not only do I want everything in SAMR, I wanna know how it interacts with different learning environments. And I stumbled across uh, the technology integration matrix when I was doing research for my doctorate thesis, and I fell in love with it. I am not connected to uh, anything about the technology integration matrix other than I really like it. So, what is the matrix? It's 25 boxes that is made from five different uh, levels of integration and five different learning environments. The levels of integration are going to look a lot like SAMR, but there's five instead of four. So you have entry, adoption, adaption, uh, infusion, and transform transformation. So uh, entry is your substitution, adoption is your um, your augmentation, uh, the adaption is your modification, and then redefinition is broken down in the TIM uh, technology integration matrix to infusion and transformation. So that's all pretty much the same, just different words. Now the five meaningful learning environments, uh, they are active, collaborative, constructive, authentic, and goal-oriented. Uh, sometimes I uh, lose one of those, but when you put the five learning environments and the five levels of integration together, you get these 25 boxes. The beauty behind the technology integration matrix is that it's interactive, okay? If you wanna know what the entry level of integration is, you click on it and it tells you exactly what it is. It gives you the student role, it gives you the teacher role, it gives you the setting and how it's used, how the technology is used. Now, if you combine um, two of them. So if we go collaborative learning environment and then we go to the infusion level, you can see that the students are collaborating in collaborative settings. Uh, they're working with each other using a piece of tech that they chose. Okay, so that's a little bit about that. So when you click on it, it will say the student role, teacher role, how it's used in the classroom, and it gives some videos of teachers using this type of learning setting with this type of integration level. So it will give you ideas and it will show you exactly um, some example lessons of how it's used. So I think that's the game changer. 
Uh, the other thing I really like about this site is that if a school wants to adopt this, they have the slide decks there ready for you to download and for you to present to your teachers. And it's, uh, it's a community. So I really, really like that. Um, so that's pretty much the technology integration matrix in a nutshell. Just being able to interact with that matrix is next level stuff. So when you're implementing technology into your classroom, you wanna be mindful of the matrix because it's set up so the left side, which is more of your entry adoption, adaption um, part of it, is more teacher centered and the right side of the matrix is more student centered. So uh, we want to strive as teachers to get students to make their own choices and take lead of their education. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that they're getting to the infusive classroom and the transformative classroom and they're directing their own learning. And that's what the technology integration matrix is all about. You wanna go in, you wanna know exactly why you're using that technology. You wanna make sure that it's enhancing a lesson. And furthermore, you want the students to take grasp of their own learning, take control of their learning and take it to the next level. I love that. And I love how um, you, you talked about on the Matrix website, they give examples for the teacher role, the student role, and a lot of resources. And I think that's something that stands out to me in comparison to SAMR. Although SAMR is great, it's usually thought of as, you know, this high level um, idea that you're taking and implementing, but might not know exactly how to implement it or how it affects the teacher and student role. So I love that it kind of gives a breakdown of what each person's role is in the matrix at what stage and kind of how to implement it and take it into consideration when implementing technology. Right. Um, well, thank you so much for being here today. I think that was a great breakdown of the tech integration matrix. Can you let people know where they can find you? Yeah, so our website is gottech.com, www.gottech.com. Uh, there you can find our podcasts, all our blogs. We have a ton of free templates that we put up there that teachers can just grab for themselves and use. Uh, you can find our podcast, Got Tech the Podcast, on any major podcast uh, platform. And uh, you can find us on Twitter at We Got Tech is the podcast and at Geist Got Tech is the Twitter handle for me. Awesome. Well, we will also put all those links in the description of this video so you all can easily connect with Eric and learn more about the tech integration matrix. Thank you so much, Eric, for being with us today. It's great to have you.